peace love and light guys what's going on with your girl crystal the royal spiritual guru coming through with your weekly pick a card so this is going to be for the week of this is going to be for the week of the 27th to march 5th all right, so what's going on for your upcoming week? So we're going to do this pick a card style. You're going to basically pick one item that you like. This is going to be pile one, the multicolored quartz point. Pile number two, the white rose obelisk organite. It's a lot of white rose in here, and she put up a fight against this resin. Okay. And then pile number three, the amethyst and sodalite ashtray organite. Got the tree of life in here. All right, so pile one, the point, pile two, the obelisk, pile three, the ashtray. So you can take a minute to resonate which item you like or the timestamp, but we're going to get started with the color quartz point. And all these are available on the website. Okay, so we want to just see what is your weekly message going to be, Power One. What is your weekly message, Power One? Okay, so we have the world as well as the lovers. So you got two major arcanas pile number one for your weekly message. It seems as though that this is going to be a good week for you. You could be um, closing some chapters, closing things up, completing things, coming to an end, things coming full circle in your life. You could be traveling. You could also be meeting the love of your life or someone that's very soul connected, whether this person is a soulmate of some kind or a new friend, but it might be romantic more so than anything. The divine could be allowing you to meet with, meet with your counterpart this week, okay? So if you already are in a relationship, the bond could be strengthening between you guys. Um... Um, it could be some endings between some couples as well. It's a possibility. But endings could be leading to new beginnings when it comes to love as well. Okay? So it's, it's a lot of different energies when it comes to love. Some people might be making up and breaking up. And some people might be finding new romance as well. But I see that you are very strong. You have a very strong energy power number one this week coming up. I show that you have a lot of good energy for like what it is that you want to do, what you want to accomplish. You might be really fixated on like the goals you're trying to achieve. So you definitely could be, um, love could definitely be something that's going to be strong for you as well with this week coming up. So we're going to get some love messages. So far, what we got is this could be the one and very soon. So it looks as though that you could be meeting the one this week and then express your love. So with this week, it looks as though that you could be definitely meeting someone new, pile number one. And you guys basically are really hitting it off. It feel like the divine may have brought you guys together. If you look at all these cards, you see two, two, two. I mean, you see angels in the background of this card. But you see the people is just basically are into each other. In each card, they into each other. So you could have someone new coming in the mix. Or if you are in a relationship, your love could be strengthening as well. I show that you guys are really like getting to know each other and you could it could be a great time for you to tell this person how you feel if you have yet to do so so go ahead and make the romantic gesture you have very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now and this could be the one you have already met the person you see so you could already be done with this person or somebody could be re resurfacing back into your life 
for some of you guys i do feel like this could be an overall new connection in general but it looks as though that you are definitely going to have some type of love connection unexpectedly happen this week for you if it's not already have been going on all right so now we're going to get a money and career message Give me a money and career message. All right. So for your money and career, you got the seven of wands and the six of pentacles. <clears throat> so it's going to, with your money and your career, you might have some challenges. You might either have some challenges where you might be um quarter of guard about a financial situation or have to handle like a you have to solve some type of situation when it comes to work or your money is going to be like a, a random encounter that might happen but your money is stable and people see that you are like you have like a good stability when it comes to your life so you might have some people that might be jealous of you and your money that actually ask you for financial support or help. So you could be helping others. You may have to um, lend money to people. People might come to you to, to get money because they kind of know you have it. But even with that, they could be a bit jealous of you when it comes to your money. Or you could have people at work as well jealous of you. You could be overcoming a lot of obstacles and challenges. You also might be trying to learn some new skills. My bad, y'all. I thought you could see it. You might also be trying to learn some new skills as well. It's like right now you're trying to basically pick up on what it is that you're inspired with. Like if you're creative, you're trying to tap more into that. Whatever your inspirations is, you're trying to like dig deeper in your passions. You are open to help people, but you also believe in like the law of karma. So what goes around comes around. So you try to act how you want, you know how you want to be received if that makes sense but definitely you could be like mentoring someone or being like called to be an investment or investor of some kind as well you could be interested in that but we're going to get some more spiritual messages now so that's what i'm showing for your money and your career we're going to move on to spirit Please give me pile number one spiritual message for the week ahead. We got faith. Please give me pile number one spiritual message for the week ahead. We got inner harmony. What is pile number one? What spiritual guide is around power number one this week? You got a goddess energy that's currently around you. And we're going to get your song of the week. What is power number one song of the week? Attention by Charlie Pugh. All right. So, what's your... Pile number one, with your spiritual energy, you have faith and inner harmony. So what that's telling me is, that's basically telling me that you need to continue to focus on you. So you have endings and beginnings. You have a lover coming in, but what about you, right? What is it that you want? What brings you inner harmony? You need to have faith. Remember that the your guys are supporting you they are with you they like hey whatever you want maybe you want to try to manifest things whatever it is that you want just focus on it sit in silence and really focus on it for a 10 minutes straight daily 
like it's already yours how it feels to have it manifest okay have faith that the universe is going to bring you whatever it is that you desire how are you treating yourself what kind of in harmony do you have what story is you telling yourself what do you deserve what don't you deserve how can you turn that around to make everything look worthy worth having you have a goddess energy that's currently around you. It could be any goddess, but you have a goddess energy that's currently supporting you this week. So maybe you want to look up a goddess that's of your interest. Maybe you were interested in learning more about different deities. And you could look up different ancient goddesses and learn more about them. And possibly that might be the goddess that's currently guiding you this week. The song you have is Charlie Puth Attention. So that's you just want attention you don't want my heart you just hate the thought of me with someone new so if you chose that pal with this song either you could be dealing with someone new and somebody from your past is lurking and they just try to keep your attention they don't want you thinking about anyone else or that could be vice versa maybe you're trying to get someone's attention and maybe you need to close the door on that but if you never heard that song look it up it's a good song all right pile number one so that's your pile i hope you like this free and if you did please make sure you like share and subscribe thank you all right so we want to go on to pile number two so if you chose this white rose obelisk this is going to be your reading. So what's going on with the week ahead for pile number two? Sir? What's going on for the week ahead for pile number two? Alright. So pile number two. You have the three of wands and you have the ten of pentacles. So your energy pile number two is you have probably been I show you have a very fruitful energy for the week ahead pile number two. You probably have been working very hard and may have planted many seeds and you see all of them coming to light, right? You could have possibly achieved a goal or like um um i'm trying to remember what it's called a milestone like you could have probably like achieved a milestone that you reached and now you're at a point where you're like okay what's next it's like you could be very fruitful and you probably have a lot of what it is that you requested from the most high from the universe and you're very humble. I'm just showing you are in a very humble state. You're in a brainstorming state. Like I said, you could have uh, probably achieved something or something could have worked. And now, like, you feel very fruitful and happy for that. You have a very decisive vision of how you want your future to look and what the outcome is going to be. And it's like you're trying to get there. If you're not already there some of you guys might want to think about making a next step in a relationship possibly it could be a partnership relationship or it could also be like a love relationship but if you do it will be successful okay so we're gonna get some love messages for you pile number two Can you give me some love messages for pile number two? Can you give me some love messages for pile number two? Okay. I'll be careful when it comes to love. So you got stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, and you have mask, not showing true feelings, hide. Pretend, delude, gaslighting. So, you could be dealing with someone that's not showing you who they are. 
that's not really showing you the true them. Like, this person could either stab you in the back or will stab you in the back or has stabbed you stabbed you in the back this person may have caused you some type of heartbreak or pain you could be separated from this person this person could have deceived you some way somehow this person wasn't really showing who they really were like they were just gaslighting you i'm just getting a lot of gameplay it's like this person don't even know who they are i think this person only this person know how to do is turn it on and turn it off okay but when it comes to love this week, you just got to be careful because it could be someone that want to cause you pain. And that don't have to mean strictly romance. You could be platonic. It could be like siblings. You could be somebody that's just you're jealous. Jealous of your success, of your milestones that you're reaching or that you have reached. Okay? People are watching you. So you have to be careful, pile number two. Alright, so we're going to get a... Uh, money career message for you please give me a money career message for pile number two okay you got two money coming soon uh, protect yourself others may try to sabotage you didn't I just say that jeez I just straight said this. You need to protect yourself, pile number two. People jealous of you. I just said it. Protect yourself. Others may try to sabotage you. Because you already abundant. But more abundance is due to come your way. A windfall of money coming soon. A financial gain is coming soon. It says the same thing in a different way. You about to have some type of money come into your life. People already are jealous of you. So people are basically being fake so they could be close to you because they want to stab you in your back and hurt you. And you need to protect yourself because people are seeing you. They see you, pile number two. <clears throat> they see you. You hear me? You are doing great things. You will be doing great things. And people are going to try to sabotage that. So protect yourself. Protect your money. Don't tell everybody your business. You know, I know when good things happen to us, we want to celebrate. But certain things, we should just be humble and keep to ourselves. Like, you know, we always want to, you know, celebrate our accomplishments. That's great. But sometimes less is more. Don't tell everybody every little detail. You know what I'm saying? Watch what you say to certain people as well. All right. So we're going to get some spiritual messages for you. Please give me a spiritual message for power number two. So you have anger. Okay, be careful with that anger. Please give me a spiritual message for power number two. Instincts and perseverance. Alright, so you definitely might get angry about something this week, power number two. But you will overcome it, and maybe it's going to cause you to really think about the situation as well. It's important for you to follow your instincts this week, pile number two, as well. It's important for you to follow your instincts. Follow your intuition. Don't doubt yourself. Always follow your first mind, okay? So whatever it is that you think you should do, do. Don't second guess it. Don't doubt yourself. Do. But it's going to be important for you to check your anger. You might have some type of issue that's going to come up that's going to get you really upset and angry and you could lash out. But it's going to be important for you to overcome it, okay? How can you overcome it, right? Figure out your how. All right, so we're going to see what spiritual messages, excuse me, what spiritual energy is around you this week. All right, so you got two. 
you have focus on health and feminine energy okay so both of these wanted to come out for you for the week ahead pile number two so it's going to be important for you to focus on your health okay take care of yourself put yourself on a diet this week <laughs> or a strict like restrictions don't do this 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 week give something a break this week focus on your health drink more teas drink herbal teas drink um take herbal remedies like capsules you know try to get more water in your diet eat less fat and fatty and fried foods okay do some workouts pick up yoga work out for 10 10 to 15 minutes if you can't do much you know just move your body walk focus on your health okay even your mental health right sing you know what i'm saying let it out release but also feminine energy is around you this week. So it's going to be important for you to tap into your feminine energy, okay? Male or female, tap into your feminine energy and just allow that energy to flow within you this week, okay? It could definitely help you with um, an, ex an anger experience that you might have this week. So, so we're going to get the song of the week for you. What is the song of the week for pile number two? All right, so your song is John Legend, She Don't Have to Know. So if somebody's cheating, this is a cheating song. So if you're in a connection, either you could be with someone that's cheating um, on you or on their significant other with you or vice versa. It don't necessarily have to be, but that's for some of you guys out here that's sneaking and creeping and cheating, talking about she don't have to know like it's like y'all literally doing y'all thing but y'all are in connections as well so somebody's saying oh like we don't have to end this like they don't have to know but don't think i don't know that you got somebody too right so that's a good song you should go listen to it that's only for a select few of you guys like if you guys are if that fits for you she don't have to know so we could take it literally as well it's a possibility that um yeah she, she and she don't have to know so somebody could be saying that to somebody else like she don't have to know so that's that energy again that's that jealousy energy energy watch out like somebody trying to do something behind your back you could take it like that literally like if you're not with someone like somebody just trying to do something behind your back and letting the other person know like but well, they don't have to know though you know what i'm saying do something to hurt you behind your back okay all right so be careful pile number two all right so that's your reading if you like the reading guys make sure you like share and subscribe join the tribe all right until next time peace all right so pile number three if you chose the ashtray and these are all for sale this is the sodalite and amethyst tree of life ashtray organite ashtray this is going to be your reading. Let's see what's going on with your energy for the week ahead. Please give me an energy for pile number three. Okay, yours just straight flew out pile number three. So your week ahead, you have the nine of swords and you have the ten of wands. So you might be having a rough week, okay? It's a possibility pile number three that um you might have a lot of burdens you might have a lot of things that's currently on your plate that you are going through and you might have like the weight of the world on your shoulders it's, it's like a lot of situations happening at once your plate is already filled you feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders it's a lot of pressure on you um but it's like you might be you might be able to release a little bit of them burdens if you take off the blindfold so it's something that you're trying not to see pile number three this week so it's something that you are trying to be blinded to or you feel trapped in or blind it's like something you feel trapped in so maybe you may have put on something an obligation that's a little bit too heavy for you and now you feel trapped in it you 
feel a heavy burden like you're stuck. I'm just getting a lot of heaviness for pile number three so far for the, for the week ahead. I'm going to pull one more card. Please give me one more card for the week ahead for pile number three. All right, so yeah, you just feeling a lot of burnt, and you might feel like you're doing more than you're giving more than receiving. You're putting more out there than you're getting in, in return. Like, you just feel like a lot of pressure on you. Like, it's something that's imbalanced. Like, things aren't really working out how they should work out. You know, you just feel like it's too much. Something going on in your life that's just too much. It's like things isn't balanced. It's like maybe you're giving more or the other person is giving more or the situation is giving more um but it's an unequal give and take energy and somebody feels stuck in something that's like a heavy burden on them okay so we're gonna get a love message please give me a love message for pile number three We got Pamper You, Twin Flame, Yes, and Boundaries, please. Okay, so for love, it looks as though that you could be meeting someone that might be your Twin Flame. This person could possibly like want to pamper you or may have pampered you if you have already met them. It's going to be important for you to honor your boundaries, though. So, if you have boundaries, keep your boundaries in place. Don't let anyone bend your boundaries or shake them. Remember what you deserve. You know, what kind of respect that you demand. <laughs> for real. Shoot. Um, yes. To be important this week as well when it comes to love. So, be more open. If somebody asks you for a date, you should say yes. Because somebody really feels though that you are a twin flame or some type of soul connection. They definitely want to pamper you. But continue to keep your boundaries or put boundaries in place with this person. Be real, be upfront, of course. And make sure you say yes. <laughs> so we're going to get your money message. What is the money career message for pile number three? Okay, so you got the Ace of Wands pile number three. So for your money, your career message, you could be someone that either work in technology or with tools of some kind, manual labor jobs, or jobs that's very innovative that make you think um or you would do very well in these type of jobs but you could be someone that's about to get a new job or have been thinking about getting a new job and getting a new position and starting some type of business as well so you could be someone that want a new job or a new career path or even want to start a new business you've been thinking about that heavy and i'm showing that this week would be a great week to try to implement some um business moves when it comes to that you could be very creative you could be definitely into making different creative projects and you know seeing what it is that you're very passionate about and trusting in your talents maybe your talents is going to be what's going to bring you um wealth as well as your new business that might be like um you might have like a some type of craft job or job that show your talents and your skills you're going to be very good at problem solving as well when it comes to your money moves um you are very passionate about what you want and it's helping you to be more inspired about making money in your future you're very positive about it and very confident about it okay all right so we're going to get spiritual message for you hmm. 
Please give me a spiritual message for Power 3. Victory. Okay, so it was looking down, but it might be looking back up. Please give me a spiritual message for Power 3. Love. Okay, so who is trying to come into your life, Power Number 3? This was flipped over too, so I guess it's only fair I put it there. So you might have some term oil as well. So I keep getting this overcoming energy with you. So you have victory. So at first I was like, okay, okay, victory. Then love came out, but term oil was there too. Um, so you have, you're going to have some type of term oil possibly in a matters of the heart, but you will come out victorious. And that's why I'm saying, like, I'm not sure it's showing this is solely love, but you could be having some type of heavy burden of something that you're not seeing in love, and it's not an equal give and take. So it's going to be some type of term oil when it comes to love, but you will be victorious. It will basically work in your favor as far as, like, maybe you guys might uh, forgive each other and move forward or maybe you just might let it go but whatever your desired outcome is it will be um you could also be having some just some different issues like i said going on in your life and they're gonna you're gonna be very victorious with those issues you could be um you have the weight of the world and all them weight is going to get lifted off of you and you'll be able to move freely and you will be very victorious and i'm just getting more so love yourself okay know what it is that you want need and deserve and continue to keep your boundaries in place i'm getting a heavy self-love energy love yourself and be open to loving others but still make sure you love yourself okay that's very important for you to do okay so we're going to get what spiritual energy is around you for this week what spiritual energy is around you for this week all right so you got two who dark energy lurking plans now okay so that's what i'm saying then you have a young woman but I felt like a real heavy energy with you, pile number three. So it's going to be important for you to cleanse your energy now. So get some sage, get some Florida water, um, cleanse your home, cleanse your room, cleanse your space, cleanse yourself. You know, you got some type of dark energy lurking around you. It's a heavy energy around you, pile number three. Okay, so you just might need to cleanse your space, your energy. Yeah, like your your bedroom, your your home, cleanse your space. Um, then you have a young woman energy that's currently around you, so it could be an ancestor of yours or just one of your spiritual guides with you this week. That's a young woman, okay? So just um make sure you take heed of that message. Now we're going to also pull your song of the week. So what is pile number three song of the week? Oh, you got Trey Song's Black Roses. Man, it could be a heavy energy when it comes to love, too. Because I'm getting a crazy, like, hard love shit. So, the term oil with love, what I just said it could have been. Trey Song's Black Roses came out and it confirmed it. So, that's basically, it's like Black Roses for this dying love. Now we're breaking up since we've given up. So, it's a breakup song. Um, So, it could be like, somebody could be breaking up this week um as well so if you never heard trey songs black roses check it out it's a really it's a really good song um but somebody could definitely be ending a relationship and having their desired outcome from it so but all right y'all that's your read and pile number three thank you guys for tuning in to the ic make sure you like share and subscribe and join the tribe until next time peace